the streets of Senegal can now enjoy a breath of fresh air. The Tobacco Control Act comes into play, prohibiting smoking in public areas and banning all tobacco-related advertising. Steep penalties and fines await those who contravene the law. It has extremely strong provisions to protect people against exposure to tobacco. With about nine months allowed to gradually ban smoking in their premises and install no smoking signs, vendors have no choice but to comply. The only solution I have is to create a smoking area, to abide by the law and await the separate directives which must exist with respect to this legislation vis-à-vis -vis the restaurants and bars. The law requires graphic warning labels covering 70% of packaging on all tobacco products sold. Coupled with increased taxes, tobacco users are already feeling the ripple effects. This won't stop me from going out. Take for example, I don't drink, but I go to places where people drink. So this won't stop me from going to those places. Instead, it will help me distance myself from cigarettes and respect others. Health practitioners in the country are lauding the move, although they expect a rebuttal from the tobacco industry. We know very well that the tobacco industry won't let this go smoothly. We know that the tobacco industry will use the same methods it used everywhere where this law was passed. But there will be no distraction. The law is the law. And as such, everyone must obey and apply the law. The new law is one of the strongest passed yet by an African government to address tobacco use. Without comprehensive control policies, it is estimated that smoking prevalence in Africa will increase by nearly 39% by 2030, the largest expected regional increase globally. Leslie Marungu, CCTV.